Hey, what's up? Welcome back to the podcast. Now in today's episode, uh, we'll dig straight into this question that I saw. And uh, this is a very common question that I get. And uh, this is something that I've experienced within my own business. I've seen this, you know, this happened to me uh, yesterday, actually. <laughs> right? And here's what it is. Uh, this coach reached out to me and said, hey, Ben, I'm having a, a hard time dealing with prospects over the phone who think my program is too expensive. And he went on and told me this story about how, uh, you know, he was about to get to the price and the parents asked him how much it was and he told them how much it was. Um, and I believe it was uh, $250 per month. Um, and the prospect started laughing and said, like, there's no way we're going to be able to pay that. That's way too expensive. And, you know, we're going to go train with someone else. And they made this, this trainer feel um, bad about what they're charging. And here's my approach with this is when you encounter people like that, it's, it should teach you two things. Number one I always look at, you know, if I get a response like that, the first thing I have to know is this person is not, they're, they're not a good fit. Like if, if they can't, if they can't commit to my program, I won't be able to commit and help them. Right. And on the back end of that though, right. Because, uh, this is just something that you have to know is not every single person you talk to is going to join your program. And, you know, I look at stats with my business. I look at stats with uh, other coaches that I help that are part of our uh, group coaching program, coaches that I help on my one-on-one calls. And I look very closely at their closing percentage. And some of the best and most successful coaches that I'm helping right now that are great at sales, they're probably anywhere between 30 to 40 percent and that's very high like by the way very very high um and so that means you know 60 to 70 percent of the time i talk to people those people will not join right and that's okay then that's the thing is you have to go into it knowing that not everyone's going to be a good fit and what we have to realize is if someone's not going to be a good fit, we shouldn't try to negotiate with them and and you shouldn't feel bad about your price either. Right? Because price is all relative. You could be charging $250 a month and someone who hears your offer and they're like, wow, I I thought it was going to be $500 a month. We're getting a steal here. And you'd be talking to someone who's used to paying $20 per session and you get on a on a call and talk about how it's $250 a month, that might feel very expensive to them, right? And it's not your responsibility with how people feel about your offer, <laughs> right? It, if you are talking to the wrong type of prospects, those people will never commit to your program in the first place, right? So this is why I have spent years figuring out the conversation you have with someone over the phone, that should be set up to where before they even talk to you, they have already raised their hand and they've, they've already been educated on your process of what your program uh, consists of, what you offer, how your program works. If you educate people, uh, the prospect, before they talk to you over the phone and you have an automated way of doing that, then you save time talking to the right people. Like now you're talking to people who are more qualified, which means your conversion goes up. Right. And you know, if someone laughs at your price, you've got to move on. Right. It's got to move on. Not every coach that I talk to joins my program. Uh, it's a big investment. Um, (laughs) and that's okay. Right. I can't help every coach. Uh, that's, that's not my intent. My intent is not to help every coach. My, my intent is to help the right coaches, right? And I, and I had the same philosophy when I first started my business, when I started training kids in soccer. It's like I had to work with the right kids, with the right parents, and ignore anyone else uh, who's not the right fit. See you later.